What's up everybody? So I hope you guys are having a good day today. Now today's video is going to be about Playboy Cardi because Javon Wims is playing the role of Playboy Cardi and you should already be able to see it with this picture alone. And this one is just so obvious like I'm just gonna get through this one quick. This one is the most obvious one in my opinion. Javon Wims put it so much in front of our face it's crazy. So first I just want to mention it was very strange that Playboy Cardi was busted in Georgia with drugs and guns found in the car. And this was the mugshot. So when rappers get arrested and they have blonde hair, that usually means they were replaced. So I found out about Playboy Cardi in 2015 with his song Fetty and Talk. Those were like my favorite Cardi songs. You know, he was one of my favorite rappers at the time. I noticed around 2017 he started acting a little bit different. So I feel like they replaced him in 2017 and they usually give us hints. This album is called Die Lit and it kind of makes sense that they would name it that because, you know, maybe the real Playboy Cardi died already. So who knows? But for sure, this new Playboy Cardi that we're looking at is not the real Cardi. Someone in the comments said, please come back. The new Cardi is gay. So see what I'm saying? Like everybody notices this Cardi that we see today is not the same one. And after he dropped this album, he went completely ghost for like two years. So that was weird to me, you know, he was probably too busy playing football because he's Javon Wims. All you have to do is just look through his Instagram. I mean, it is very obvious that this is not the real Playboy Cardi. Like, Cardi did not act like this whatsoever. Like, what? what is this, bro? What actually is this? Like, there's no way you could tell me this is the real Cardi. He said, me being a thought. The real Cardi would not make a caption that says me being a thought. You know what I mean? Like, it's so obvious that they're just using his character and his influence to influence the youth. Every single post he makes is so weird. And look at his eyes right here. You could tell that's a mask. And, you know, Cardi never used to dress like this. You know, all of a sudden, now he's a bisexual vampire. It's pretty sad, though, to be honest, that they stole his identity and now they're just using him to promote their agendas and stuff you know what i mean and this is crazy because there's old videos where he was actually saying some real stuff but you know it, it's hard to find old cardi stuff now it's weird he never posts anything like it's so rare that he posts anything he's only been posting recently because he dropped a new album but besides that it's so rare that he posts it's so obvious that he got replaced they just stole his identity and the fans don't even notice that's what's crazy so javon wims put it directly in front of our face that he is playboy cardi you know, he has the Playboy shirt on right here. So this is just mockery, you guys. Like, he's so confident and cocky that we won't notice that they're just putting it directly in front of our face. And a lot of people are starting to notice, but the majority of people don't even know that this stuff is going on. So that's why they're able to get away with this. Javon Wims was born on 9-11, which is kind of crazy. And Playboy Cardi was born on September 13. Their birthdays are only two days apart, you guys. Two days apart. And the year is only two years apart. You know, Javon Wims was born in 94 and Cardi was born in 96. Cardi is listed at 6'1". Javon Wims is listed at 6'3". So that's another two. So they're two inches apart. Then they're two days apart. And then they're two years apart. And if you add that up, that's six. So I don't think that's a coincidence. You know, two, two, two. So that's crazy. So Playboy Cardi is from Atlanta, Georgia. And Javon Wims played football in the University of Georgia. Now I'm just going to show you guys this article to prove to you guys that everything is fake. Publicly calls out ex Playboy Cardi for not spending Christmas with her son. So when I found out that this was Playboy Cardi's son, I was like, there's no way. Like, it's impossible because there's no way you could tell me this is Playboy Cardi's son. They look nothing alike. Like, this is just straight mockery, you know what I mean? Like, there's no way people actually believe that this is Playboy Cardi's son. So Whole lot of Red dropped on December 25th and they didn't have any games around the time that Playboy Cardi dropped Whole lot of Red. The game that they had before that was on the 20th and then the game they had after that was the 27th. So he had more than enough time to change his disguise into Playboy Cardi and then come back and play a game against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Another funny coincidence is that Javon Wim's position is a wide receiver and for short is WR. Playboy Cardi's new album is Whole Lotta Red and for short is WLR. You know, WR is in there. Javon equals 73 
and Playboy equals 37. This one is so obvious, like, I don't even have to make this video that long. Somebody said Javon Cardi, and then somebody said, are Javon Wims and Playboy Cardi the same person? Because you can clearly tell that this is the same person, like, they didn't even try with this one. The funny thing is that I found out about this one because I was on my explore page on Instagram, and there was a meme that said, Playboy Cardi looks like Javon Wims. And I was like, what the hell? That is him. Like, it looks exactly like him. And I started looking into it. And sure enough, it's the same person. Now, this is 100% proof right here. Like, there's no denying it after this. Javon Wims tweeted this on his Twitter. And he said, I'm telling my kids this is Playboy Cardi. And he posted a picture of himself. So if this is not mockery, I don't know what is. He's literally putting it in front of your face that he is Playboy Cardi. It's so crazy how many hints he gave us. And then these are all the other people who noticed. Why does Javon Wims look like Playboy Cardi? Javon Wims looks exactly like Playboy Cardi. For a second, I was like, when did Playboy Cardi join the Bears? Bro, Javon Wims looks exactly like Cardi. Javon Juice, Playboy Cardi Wims. Still wondering if Javon Juice and Playboy Cardi are related. Especially in this picture right here. This picture is the most clear example. It's so obvious. So looking at this picture, I just noticed that his jersey number is 83. You know, I just looked it up right now. His jersey is 83. And that's crazy because rapper equals 38. Death equals 38. Murder equals 83. And 38. And then killing equals 38. So I wouldn't be surprised if they fake Cardi's death. Somebody said, is it me or does Wims look like Cardi? Is it just me or does Javon Wims, the NFL player who sucker punched another player last night, look like Playboy Cardi? So that's another thing. Like, nobody would ever expect Playboy Cardi to be a football player. You know what I mean? Like, they always try to do something with their other character that you would never expect them to do. And especially the fact that Javon Wims punched another player. And he got suspended for it. That was pretty hilarious. Because people would not expect that from Playboy Cardi. And then somebody said Javon Wims look like Playboy Cardi. I swear I always said you look like Cardi. Why does Javon Wims look like Cardi? Bro, Javon took going to Georgia too seriously and turned into Playboy Cardi. This one is just so obvious, man. It's crazy. So there's a lot of people that can tell. You know, this one is very obvious. And this made me laugh so much. How did Playboy Cardi go from this to a bisexual vampire? And this was hilarious because, you know, even other people are noticing that this is not the same Cardi, you know what I mean? Another thing is that Iggy looks super masky. She looks super weird. So I wouldn't be surprised if she's playing another role as well. So let me know in the comments if you guys know who plays the role of Iggy. But yeah, guys, you can tell this is not the real Cardi, you know what I mean? Like, it's just crazy, man. You know, Cardi would never do stuff like this. So I try to find all the old pictures of Cardi. And I'm comparing them to the new one. Like, why? Like, what is this, bro? Like, who in their right mind is going to do this? Like, th you could tell this is not the real Cardi, man. It's crazy. He looks nothing like him. This is the agenda that they're pushing with him. He posted this on his story and he said, this is my new boyfriend. And of course, he's throwing up the devil horns. But yeah, guys, this is the real Cardi. You could tell that this is not the same one. They said we want the album to come out, but I'm going to come out instead. I'm gay. So there you go. That goes to show you that they're just using him to promote their agendas. And I mean, just look at this picture right here, bro. You could tell this is not Cardi, bro. It's crazy. Like, he's just doing the most awkward poses ever. I went to Javon Wim's Twitter. And of course, he's wearing a mask as his profile picture on Twitter. Somebody said, my favorite football player, Javon Wims of the Chicago Bears, also known as Playboy Cardi. So my last video was about MF Doom and I forgot to mention that Playboy Cardi actually mentioned him in his album six days before he died. And he said, I just hit a lick with a mask, MF Doom. So he mentions a mask 
and MF Doom six days before he dies. And another crazy coincidence is that this song is called Stop Breathing. So it's kind of crazy that he mentions MF Doom six days before he died. Javon Wims used to have the number six and the song is called Stop Breathing. And he mentions the mask when he's referring to MF Doom. So that's a pretty crazy connection right there. And then when he dies, he said RIP MF Doom. You know, there's a lot of predictive programming and stuff like that. You know, what are the chances that Cardi mentions MF Doom six days before he dies? And why would Cardi even mention MF Doom? Like, they're in two totally different worlds. So, it's just crazy, man. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Drop a like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on notifications. And I'll probably drop another video for you guys tomorrow. So, stay tuned for that. And I'm out.